there. I'm just trying to weigh out some rice for a dinner party I'm hosting later. Yes, I have friends. This bag of rice weighs one kilogram. A kilogram is a unit used to measure weight. We can abbreviate it by writing kg. But for dinner, I need two kilograms of rice. So I'm filling another bag. To make sure these two bags have the same amount, I'm weighing them on this balance. You know how a balance works, right? Well, it's a little bit like an equal sign. When these two sides have the same amount, they will be balanced. So if I put one kilogram weight on this side and a one kilogram bag of rice on this side, they are balanced because they're equal. But look, if I put a one kilogram weight on this side and nothing on this side, it's unbalanced, it's not equal. So now that I've got my second bag filled, it's time to weigh them. I have my one kilogram bag on this side. Now I'll take my second bag of rice. Be sure that your bag is sealed because if it isn't, oh my. Sorry about that. Looks like our second bag of rice isn't going to do us much good anymore. But I do have these smaller bags. But how many of these would it take to equal our one kilogram bag? Let's take a look at decomposing our one kilogram bag. I'm going to draw a 10 frame on our bag. Now how many equal pieces have we decomposed our one kilogram bag into? We have 10 equal pieces here. These smaller pieces can be measured with a unit of weight that is smaller than a kilogram. We call it a gram. Each of these 10 equal pieces has 100 grams. We can abbreviate grams with the letter G. So we'll write 100 grams on each part of the 10 frame. Now how many 100 grams are there in one kilogram? There are 10 hundredths. Let's skip count to find the total. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So how many grams are there in the bag? That's 1,000 grams. One kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. That's great. Now I know I can use these smaller 100 gram bags. How many 100 gram bags should I fill to equal one kilogram? <sighs> I filled all of these without spilling. Here we have 10 100 gram bags. And look at that, they are balanced and no mess. Now it's your back. Not again. Well, I've got quite a mess on my hands. But while I'm cleaning up, why don't you take a look at this? We can also decompose our 100 gram bags into smaller pieces as well. If we draw a 10 frame on this bag, what will each of these pieces represent? When we decompose our 100 gram bag into 10 pieces, we get 10 pieces of 10 grams. And come to think of it, if we decompose a bag of 10 grams into 10 pieces, we'd end up with 10 bags of one gram. Great work today. I don't suppose you wanna stay and help me clean up, huh? Yeah, I didn't think so.